Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Hugan's Ride from third grade. I'm here to read you a story called This Fairy Tree, a story of 9-11, resilience, and regrowth. In New York City, there once stood two towers. For a time, they were the tallest buildings in the world. Below the towers was a busy plaza. That's where I was planted. Most people who came to my plaza had a job in the city. I had a job too. My leaves gave people shade. My branches gave birds a place to rest. And each year I was one of the first trees to blossom. My flowers let everyone know that spring was coming. Some trees like a quiet park or forest, but I was a city tree. I liked the sound of wind rushing between the tall buildings. I liked the smell of rain on concrete in the summer. I liked being in my plaza, watching everyone coming and going. I was in my plaza the day it happened. It was an ordinary morning until it wasn't. I waited there alone. Around me it was dark and hot and close. Did the sun even exist anymore? It was weeks before they found me. When I came back into the light, I knew that everything had changed. The new noises and smells of the city scared me. They reminded me of what happened. Some people put me on a truck and drove me to a nursery in a faraway park. I was grateful to be somewhere quiet. I had changed too. All winter, the people at the nursery took care of me. No one knew if my leaves would come back. They did. It was peaceful in the park. I was surrounded by others. Birds still visited me. That first spring, a dove made a nest in my branches. Years passed and I regrew. I wondered if my city was regrowing too. Sometimes when a shadow passed overhead, I thought about what had happened. But being surrounded by the other trees made me feel stronger. Some days, I even felt strong enough to do my old job again. That's when I knew I was ready. It was time to go home. A machine came to pull me from the ground. The noise scared me. Leaving scared me even more. We drove downtown through the city. Now I was worried to go back. What if something bad happened again? I already missed the other trees. Then I saw it, one shining spire and many more towers surrounding a new plaza. And in the plaza, they had planted a forest. It was filled with trees. Between the trees, they saved three empty spots. Two spaces remained where the towers once stood. They would stay empty forever because nothing could fill them. The third space was for me. I wasn't comfortable at first. It had been so long since I'd heard the wind between the buildings or smelled wet concrete, but I was still surrounded by other trees 
and that made me feel stronger. I had a new job now too. Anyone who felt a shadow overhead could stand under my leaves and find peace. Anyone who was hurt could see how my branches had healed and find hope. In my plaza, filled with so many trees, I am still the first to blossom. And everyone who sees my flowers knows that spring will come. I hope you enjoyed that story about a tree in the plaza in New York City um, that happened so many years ago. Um, I remember it to this day. I was in third grade, just like some of you were. And um, that day changed our country forever. So I hope you have a great day and keep reading. And Tank says keep reading too.